voters agreed to restore voting rights to convicted felons. The new law has given an estimated 1.4 million people who've completed their sentences the right to vote in the next election. Yesterday while we were canvassing, people just were saying, we can't vote, we can't vote, we can't vote. And I told them, I said, in a few hours, that's going to change. Many people very jubilantly got out to register to vote for the first time in a long time today. Not only do I see myself differently, but the state now sees me differently. The state now sees me as somebody that is worthy to have a voice again. The day is like the first step of a new beginning for me. I really feel like a citizen, you know, not just a person, but I would feel like an American. November 6th, Florida said yes to having returning citizens receive their right to vote and have a voice in the community and the state that they live in. The Florida Senate passed a bill Friday that would require formerly incarcerated people with felony convictions to repay all fines and fees to courts before their voting rights are restored. It's really cash register justice. You gotta pay in order to vote. And that shouldn't be the case. 